Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to look at one of the Power BI's AI feature which will explain as why the sales have gone down or why the sales have gone up. For example, in this line chart over here, I have plotted the sales all the way from 2017 to 2018. And we can see that there is a huge dip in the sales amount over here and then there is huge increase in the uh, sales amount over here. Now, just by looking at this chart, it's very difficult to understand why the decrease or the increase has happened. But Power BI has this uh, AI feature, which will basically scan through all the columns that is present in your data set and try to create some visuals, which will explain why the increase or decrease. So let's get started with this tutorial. So uh, let's say, for example, over here in the month of 2017 December to 2018 January, we've seen a steep decrease in the sales amount. So what we can do is we can right click on this particular uh, marker over here, click on analyze, and you will see that there is an option here which says explain the decrease. So let's click on this explain the decrease and see what happens. So we get this dialog box over here, which is basically a, a lot of charts which are available. Let's go through one by one and see what is it that this is offering for us, right? So the first chart here is a waterfall chart. It is talking about sum of sales by year, month and region. So this is basically trying to compare the 2017 December data versus the 2018 January. So in this case, we are now comparing with the uh, month and region over here. And we can see that it, it very clearly explains that West and East region accounted for the majority of the decrease among the region. That means that something has changed in West and the East over here, which has contributed to the major decrease in the sales amount. So this is giving us that, that particular details over here. If we look at the next chart, it is now telling us that these are the three customers, Winnie, Roshan and James had the largest decrease among the customer name. Now these are maybe the biggest customers which did not buy in the month of January. That is why we see that there is a huge decrease in the uh, sales amount. Likewise, if we go come to the next um, chart over here, it's again a waterfall chart. This is by month and city. It is telling us in which city we have had the uh, drop the most right and in, on the next chart here it's trying to explain by category here these are the categories cakes rice and spices has the largest decrease among the subcategory so we can very clearly tell that something is happening around this area maybe because uh, december was the festive season so a lot of people bought a lot of stuff like cakes rice spices etc because it's a festive season and january of course it is not a festive season so maybe the sales has dropped because of that so basically this gives you a pretty much uh, an idea as to what is happening with your data. The next chart over here is talking about the decrease in the categories. These are the major categories, food grains, bakery, eggs and meat and fish are the major categories where we've seen a huge drop in sales. Now all of these are waterfall charts and if you want to make or if you want to look at different chart, you can also click on these icons over here. We have a, a scatter chart we have a, a stacked column chart and then there is also a ribbon chart that you can see and visualize the data over here. Now let us say that you want to uh, add this to your data page over here and maybe showcase it to others. You can simply click on this plus button over here and the chart will get automatically added to the page over here. Now let's go back over here and look at the increase. When I click on this data point over here and click on analyze and explain the increase, we will get the same thing over here. These are the basically the data points here which are contributing the most for the increase. For example, the first one that we see over here is the category. These are the categories which have contributed the most towards the increase. So the green ones that you see is increase and the, the, the red ones here that we saw are the is the decrease. And likewise over here, the next is the customer name and so this is a chart by uh, subcategory and all the green ones that you see here have contributed to the increase and there is one on the borderline over here edible oil and ghee category subcategory which is somewhere on the uh, red or the borderline over here and if you want to add this chart you can simply click on this plus icon over here and the chart will get automatically added to the page explaining the details as to why the increase or decrease has happened 
right? So this is a very cool feature in Power BI, which most of them do not really use. But I think you guys should start using this feature because it is really cool. It gives you a lot of insights into your data set. Right. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.